And it is so good to have you with us here on this Friday. I'm Craig McKee. The Cincinnati Recreation Commission rolled out its summer plans as it works through how to reopen centers and the pools now on a limited basis next month. As Mariel Carbone reports right now, the cutbacks mean fewer kids can enroll in programming. Well, rec centers are seen as a way to not only offer entertainment, but a safe haven and structure for kids here in our community, especially during the summertime. Now, there are some concerns that the centers won't be able to do that in the same ways they normally do this summer because of social distancing, but staff here assure me that they are committed to providing quality service. City crews are prepping to reopen for the summer. But this year we're having to look at reducing our capacity. It'll be on a smaller scale by mm -hmm. nearly 50 percent. And in some cases, more than that. Daniel Betts is the director of the Cincinnati Recreation Commission. He says because of furloughs and social distancing requirements, operations are limited. Starting June 8, 17 of the 23 rec centers will offer summer day camps. But instead of accommodating upwards of 1,500 kids, only about 600 will attend. And only seven of the city's pools will reopen. As for choosing which ones? We looked through the lens of equity and we looked at safety and we looked at the ratios uh, in terms of room and space analysis. It's a 180 from last summer when the city was pushing for extended hours and programming at centers to keep teens safe and away from street violence. The thought of not being able to fully do that. Well, that certainly is what keeps me up at night. But Beth says we are uh, putting things in place to address meeting the needs of our most vulnerable young people who are living in communities that are uh, marginalized. Like its youth to work program, expanding virtual programs and leaning on community partners for help. It'll be a smaller uh, footprint in terms of what we've done. And Director Bett says that people can continue to check the CRC website. They'll be updating that over the next few weeks as they prepare to reopen on June 8th, as well as throughout this summer as they work to expand what they can offer based on any changes to state guidelines. Reporting in Price Hill, Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.